Nathan Oakley's uh, server. Oh, yeah, he, wow. Hey, he's got kicks people here? off. Oh, can we do housekeeping? He's got kicks people off unless you're a can, can we do some you? housekeeping questions? Is there any evidence of a molten iron core at the center of a... <laughs> a presupposed spherical Earth? Come on, guys. Is there right. any evidence yeah. of a flat Earth? Yeah, I gotta hear that one. Let's have Isn't that it sad? Isn't that it sad iron that we... Core. Yeah, Let's uh, give me, do it. Give me evidence Isn't of the flat Earth, SC. Come on. Just one. Isn't it sad that we know the words, though? Don't you think? Yeah, I know. It is sad. I don't know hey, the SC, words. Come on. Give me one words. proof of the flat Earth, SC. Your best proof. Come on. Nathan Oakley taught us the words. Hey, Pate. Notice how Pate Nassar made his Oakley. entrance by hey, insulting somebody. Hey, Pate. Hey, Pate. Do you think it's even more sadder that you're a beta? Oh, no. I don't think it's. I'm not beta at all. You... Hey, SC. Come on. Give me your best proof. This one. No, he's not beta. He's Omega. Come on, Beta. Omega. Essie, keep oh, yourself in me. Proof What's is your best flat. proof, Essie? percent proof. Well, I'm Gamma, yeah. apparently. Best proof that the Earth is flat, Essie. Just one. Come on. And crickets from Essie Montreal. Pay. Hey, you know we don't talk to you. You know we oh. think you're a shill, so just move I'm on. I'm a shill. You know. I'm a paid NASA shill. Come on, give yes, me the best yeah. proof for the NASA. Hey, hey, hold on, what pay... about Don Gio? What have you got? Some hey, this paid guy right here. Don Gio is a smart guy. No, Don this, is you listen, think smart Montreal. Quiet, 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 quiet. Hey, this guy right here thinks it would be okay to hold down children and give them the vaccine. Yep. And yes. No, yes, adults too. Yes. That's well said. Nathan Oakley, think it, thinks, Nathan that, Oakley yes. thinks it's okay to slap his kid live on a fucking stream. Well, I spank my son if he's if oh, I have to tell wow. him more three times. How 2014 of you. Wow, is that the best you got? Hey, see, come on, what's your best proof of the flat earth, SC? Come on, give me your best your best proof of the of the flat earth. Come on. Chemo did it and he said uh, give us, tell give us eleven different vectors. Go ahead. Oh. Come on, SC, give me your best proof of the flat earth. Come on. Just one. Paid, sit down, let the adults talk. Somebody said a molten iron core? I'd like to hear more about I that. I want to hear what your best proof of the flat earth is first. You know the problem I think in his here? best proof well, is like, let, let, let the like, adults. Wits it, wits it kind of like directed all his energy and attention at Gem. Gem isn't the globe, and SE isn't flat earth. Get it straight, mm. you fuckwit. Fuckwit. I, think it's definitely I got you in my sights. I am quite globular in shape. <laughs> so who wants to talk about the PNS waves? Come on. Come on, I want you to tell me your best proof of flat earth first, SC. Come on, just one. So you can move the goalpost? No, let's see this flat earth proof. You just move the goalpost. Come on, goal You're in my sights. Convince me. Your best proof, please. Just one. Bro, so convince convince you. You. We can't you're even convince a, you're you one of the them truth. Trolls. You're one of them people that lives in Dude. mama's basement that comes up to insult people. <laughs> you on. are irrelevant. Give me your best proof of the flat earth, SC. I'm not insulting you. I'm just asking I'm asking for your best proof of the flat earth. By the way, SC. By the way, SC. What did they tell you about the molten iron core? By the way, SC. By the way, SC. The shape of the earth does not depend on it having a molten iron core. That's a straw man. Just stop it. Hey, Blue, what's up? Come on, Essie, come on. You know the you know the lines. Just say it, it's obviously and observably flat. Say no, no, it, we weren't talking about flat earth. It appears. Uh, that's Payne Nassa Shield trying to... Uh, just say you know, it appears flat and heard, We were talking and about the molten iron job core. Job. No, we weren't. Somebody mentioned it. Talk about it. I, right, I, talk I about thought I'd help you out. You're being asked for evidence of the flat you. earth. You know what to say. Molten iron core is a straw man. We don't need to go there. Come on, Essie, your one proof, your best proof of the flat Earth. Now, was it the planet Thera that uh, introduced this molten iron core blue? I wonder Which why. Yes, the, I, the moon? How, I how noticed. Does that, how does that work? Tell us. This is a, this is what I was Give us the mechanism by how this, this is what this is what I was Let criticizing me? the women in twenty four seven for last night. Their total refusal to adopt a position or defend their position in any way. It's all about what do you think and why do you think it. So I can say you're wrong for thinking it, but at no point will I ever divulge what it is I think about anything. Come on, SE. Why do you think the Earth's flat? Water. 
<laughs> that's, yeah, that's yeah. proof. Oh my Bait, God! Bait mm-hmm. body of water. Hey, Paige, hey, Paige, Paige, 21 miles away. I Paige. don't know what Hang the on. shape is okay. exactly, but okay, I can let... tell you 70% of it. Listen up. Yeah, listen. Listen up. You were dying for my opinion, yeah. right? I'm yeah, let him go. Opinion. Opinion. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. 70% your of your mythical ball is covered by water, and water does not curve. Hmm. Uh oh. Well, that's is your that best too much logic oh, for one sentence? Can you can you yeah, give us an example of water curving, please? Can, so can you demonstrate it? The molten iron core. Show us can you demonstrate about your molten right, iron be, core? Before we get into that, I think Don had something to add to it. So go ahead, Don. Tell us what your thoughts are. Okay, twenty-one miles away. Should you be able to see a laser? Uh, yes. 69 miles away, you'll get a 1% degree change in angle. 69 miles, 1% degree change in angle. So 21 miles away. Is or degree? 21 degree. Well, I'll, I'll cut to the chase. I think the problem is with these laser observations is, first of all, lasers are not immune to the effects of refraction, and they can bend just like all of the light can bend. Sure. Secondly, the, um, the the laser beam spreads out in a cone as uh-huh. as it moves further from the laser. Right. So if you're at a great distance from it, then there will be a great big cone. And so uh-huh. when you see some light from that laser, you don't know which part of that, that cone it is that you're seeing. Uh, so those right. are my two problems with seeing a laser i think you need to do what jaron tried to do which mm-hmm. is actually hit a target with a laser over a distance and then you can rule out that my those objections All right you guys claim refraction is what's lifting it up over a curve that's 235 feet of drop that's a 235 feet of refraction that's a lot what the does that make well, sense I, I didn't just claim that though did i what no, about the most what about the spreading out of the cone of the laser? You, I mean, how big would how big would the that? Well, you're looking through that? it's shining through a dense layer of atmosphere. Of course, I mean, of course, it's going to spread out. Right, but, but how, I, how but do you, you know guys, which bit of the how do you know which bit of the beam that you are seeing from the other side of the lake? How do you know it you're has still spread? It, it, it spread it makes out. more sense. Right, but, it makes... it, but by the time it would hit any curvature, uh-huh. that that beam could be tens uh-huh. or even hundreds of feet across. Okay, but it's a better explanation. So, so it, you'll only hit the it, only the bottom of it will hit the curvature, and the top of it will continue to go over it. Right. So, what about refraction? No, I I see the the laser in Ben's uh, video. The laser is, you can see the laser and it's also refracting, uh, reflecting off the water as well. So refraction upon refraction upon refraction upon refraction. Is that you don't what? understand how refraction works. Do, 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 do. Hey, quiet. I'm talking to that you guy. Don't understand. No, you don't understand shit. I'm quiet. Sorry. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Yeah, why, you don't why you shit, like, shut up, Jill. Don't do your thing. Shut up. You don't know how, you don't know shit either, Montreal. <laughs> They're well, having a good the conversation. The they lake. don't need you. Shut the hell I, up. I just right? don't think that that's a reliable. The across the lake, how are we supposed to trust it going to the moon and back? Because it goes in a well, straight line to the moon and back. Thank you. You just said <laughs> cones. No. It's just cones. Right? Yeah. Well, hold on. Right. There because is... they use much better lasers than the laser you picked up at Home Depot. Oh, really? Huh? We're, we're not, yes. We're not, well, we're not good the point, enough. For no, but the point is, the, the um, laser reflections off the retro reflectors on the moon, you know, uh-huh. really rely on this principle. If the but laser saying... beam, hang on, hang on. If the laser beam wasn't spreading out, I believe right. by the time it hits the moon, it's something like six kilometers across. Right. It Correct. Wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to hit the target. It's only mm-hmm. because it spreads out in this way that we're able to do that. So I think that, right. you know, in, in, in indirectly supports my argument. Do you know how great 235 feet is? Yes. It's if, pretty if, if, high. Eh? That's, that's the yeah, think drop it, field, bro. Well, think of it in terms of... You're not counting the statutory. You're counting the drop. You're not counting the statutory. But this is 235. Hang on, this is 235 feet in 100,000 feet, right? Because it's No, safe. 21 miles away. Yeah, which is 100,000 feet, right? Of curvature drop. Is 100, uh, 21 miles, is, is it? 
hundred thousand feet. If I remember right, yeah, about a hundred thousand feet, and it's two hundred thirty-five feet in a hundred in a hundred thousand feet. So it's really mm -hmm. not very much at all, is it? What's the Sagitta? What, your, what, you your to keep on the drop. What's the Sagitta? Yeah. To your Earth curvature calculator is a pretty big drop. That's where they claim, you know, 235 feet of drop. What's where's that? Right. According to your model, where's the drop at? Where do we, where, where should we start to see curve? Right away. Amazing. What the? Oh, down, why, don't you, why, don't you bring, why don't you bring, why don't you bring your model? Bring yeah, our model. Let it model. What does a model have to do with? We're looking for curve. A model. Oh, you guys I'm don't even looking, have a model. I'm looking for your you model. model. You, you guys don't, don't even have a model. model. I'm listen. looking for your model. You don't have a model. You don't even have a model. Oh my! What a mess. You, you don't know a model. model. You don't know what you know. It's the shape of the Earth is, but you know it's not. Dude, you guys right? don't even have a model. We yes, have we a model. You guys don't. All maps are off, dude. If you had a model, why is most maps off? Then if bring you model, your model, please. Listen, listen, listen. You if can most, post it here listen, in the chat, right? Listen, listen. Or you won't. I predict listen, you will not. Quiet. And you will try to weasel your way this out. Thing. This is his thing. This is his thing. How about that? In a, try this in a model thing. Way, right? Try letting yeah, it pop. Who's your model, listen. please? Your, your model is that the, earth, the water hey. doesn't curve, which it does, hey, by the way. Calm down. Listen. Yeah, you're, you're talking to you yourself, obviously. If you had a model and the glow was so true, no maps would be off. What would be off? No maps. We would have accurate maps, like right on, dude. That's not true. Amazing. That statement is false because if you try to model yeah, they are accurate the maps. spherical very object accurate maps. on a flat surface, it will be distorted. Listen, if you can step outside of this so-called Earth and do all that with the so-called fifteen thousand or what? How many? How many satellites? Or that's debris. Fifteen thousand pounds of debris. I think we'll Geo that in a minute. Just proved himself. But he said like that you could make an accurate model if it was a sphere. And you would should be able to. Yes, you should be able to map out a you flat should, Earth. You you should be able to make an accurate yeah we model we accurate if you map. can get outside. Right, we have an accurate model, but we can't make an accurate flat map. Oh my god! That was your plan, right? You can't, get, you high, you can't get high enough on a flat map, dude. You can't. You can't go. You know what? GPS. Yeah. But you, you can't, can't go. Can't have a flat map. GPS. Do you know that? Yeah, that's yeah, that's right. Right. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, it's yeah, right. It's right. It's right. No model to bring, right? That is dude, what you're saying. You guys don't have a model, no, man. Yes, we do, man. You don't no, have you, a model. Then why are maps wrong? Why are maps off? You know, because they're they flat projections of the globe. You idiot! All flat projections of the globe. Yeah. Topography, huh? Topography. <laughs> Geo, check this. Check this out, man. If I gave, if I gave you a, let's see, if I gave you a just a ball, do you think you could flatten it and turn it into an accurate representation of what it was when it was a ball? Sure, you can use uh, geometry with that. You can you make a flat piece of paper appear to be a sphere when the math is also good. But that's, that's the, but that's the thing. You guys think that right, abstracts that, is I'm gonna physics. I'm going to need you to get an orange. Take an orange. You to See, but you guys think abstracts proves the physics. You can do this. That has nothing to do with what you're talking about. No, no physics. That's what you guys are doing. You just got math. 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 You don't know math, man. You really know that one plus one equals two. And you're talking to me about math, you moron. Math is, proves it all. That's your guys. That's, that's your go-to. Math is a language. You don't speak it, so it has, shut up. It has to do with. <laughs> it has to do with getting an Im, getting a view of things, not proving things. That's Math what is a language. Are. No different than English. Right? You don't speak it. So shut up. Hey, right. Massive right. Joe, can you stop telling people to shut up? That'd be nice. Stop. So listen here. Let me use an example real quick. Example, just real quick. Say, uh, say I'm a professional, uh. I make speaker boxes, right? And you want a ported box, right? And you want to be able to hit 140 dBs with 212s. So I do all the math. I cut the box. It looks amazing, right? It's perfect. The port is four inches, just right for 130 dBs. I give you the math. I give you the everything. And you put your speakers in there. Um, and you're bumping. You're bumping good. You won't know that I actually have it at 80 dBs. There's a piece that is chipped on there, and you won't know. So, was the math wrong or the physics wrong? Hold on a second, Jen. You're echoing. Please, in your, in your example, you just you, you you're not accounting for all the variables because all the if you're if you're plugging in the characteristics of the enclosure and the speaker driver data and all that stuff, that still doesn't take into account the physics inside the car. 
When you, you put the speaker in the box, you have a whole other set of variables that you don't have any yeah, understanding of. you won't of. know until you test the actual physics. Yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just because do. there are variables in the car that's that are not understood. That's what we're doing. That's what flat earthers do. We're testing the physics. You guys are just using no, the math. Not. Imagine. Okay. Hey, so, but the flat earth has no explanation for things, and they're not trying to find explanations for it. Like, what causes the moon phase on the flat earth? We don't know. What creates the pressure gradient on the flat earth? We don't know. How does this? Why does the sun not change in size throughout the day? We don't know. How, how does the sun move from the Tropic of Cancer to the Tropic of Capricorn and, uh, and, and not have a faster... Uh, 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 Velocity of its subsolar point. Nobody knows. When we zoom in on a boat and we can see the mass and all, you guys will be like, "What?" And we ask you, "Why do we see it?" You guys, I don't know. Let's point back to the sky. No, no, we, no. we say refraction, and we say it only works Let's under very limited conditions and like limited distances. Wait, There's, so no the There's no boat being zoomed over the horizon. There's no boat where you can see all the way down to the down to the bottom of the hole from 20 miles away. There's okay, no video so, like that. Okay, refraction only works on the Earth, right? Refraction so it doesn't work doesn't, in the sky. So can I see more? It's a deal when you look above for like 15 oh, degrees. Okay. What about 45 right, degree right, angle? 45 wait, degrees wait, wait, is back, almost back negligible. Up. 45 degree back angle. Up, yeah, there's a small amount of refraction to why the stars twinkle. The there's still refraction because the stars twinkle, but it's a very small amount. They don't necessarily twinkle when you zoom in on them. Yes, they do. When you they zoom in on a star, they're twinkling? So, you, yes. Of course. In a way. They kind of really? Of course. Oh, they're wobbling they're like they're in wobbling. Water. That's exactly. That's the same thing. That's what. Little star. They're wobbling. That's like what. In water. That's the twinkling. That's wobbling in the oh, when you zoom twinkling. in on them. <laughs> now, wobble is different. Wobble is different from scintillating. Only Don Geo, how many times have you looked through a telescope at a star? Uh, well, I just seen videos, bud. That weren't a P900 or some other camera. No, I just seen videos of them. I'm about to yeah. buy me a telescope myself, though. Yeah, you can get them at Target. Yeah, get a no, telescope. I don't want, no, I want a really, 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 really nice one. Not one at Target. Okay, get really the next one. And, and when you learn how to use the mount, you'll prove the uh, flat Earth. By the way, when you learn how to use that mount, but that's another story. When you... I'd recommend not buying a really nice one to start with. It's always right. good to yeah. get a, like a, uh, a simple one, and get used yeah. to it. And then spend more money later. Yeah. Go, go to like the toy section, right? Where yeah. all the, the smart toys are for, for kids. <laughs> they got telescopes. Uh, go ahead and get you one of those first. Yeah, those are good ones. I mean, he's, he's saying toy section, but it's, it's ironic. You know, a Canadian tire, hundred bucks. You get a decent one where you can look at the move. Well, I got one for 300, dude. It's got a little phone thing I can attach to it so I can record it. You just it. said you didn't look through a telescope. Now you're saying you have one? No, there's one I'm looking at. It uh, has a yes, and the one I want to get. Three hundred seems like quite a bit, unless you are gonna get it. Three hundred would be like better than just looking at the moon. Anything under three hundred, you're basically just looking at the moon. Uh, right. So yeah, you should be good. I'm uh, ta I'm gonna take it. There's an island uh, by Mi on Michigan, right by the thumb. There's I uh, forget what it's called. I don't know why I can't remember. I'm gonna go to Bay City and look and observe and see if I can see that. Get an inverter then, because it'll be upside down in your telescope. Oh, boy. unless you have an inverter. Hey, paid. You got a pillow? Night, night. Get it. Get an inverter. In the, in, no, I'm serious. Get an inverter, or else it'll be upside down in your telescope. Yeah, that's that's true. Another... Yeah, telescope to do invert images. Just like your eye inverts images, your brain flips it around. It's optics. If you understand anything about optics. See that video of NASA had the military budget? <laughs> hey, Pay, can you answer? Can you? I got a question for you, bud. Can you, um, um, the moon, right? So, you in your guys' system or whatever, the sun casts its light off the moon, right? That's why Correct. I had. Okay, so why in the moon mission, when they got closer to the moon, it didn't get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter? And there was no hot spot. Where's the hot spot at the moon? God, this again. What do you mean by hot spot? Yes, on the moon? What he means by hot spot is it means a reflection point, like off of water. He doesn't realize that the moon, the regolith is like very, very dull. Is it really? Yep. Hold on. It's very dull. Where? I just had a curiosity. Where lock. Have you ever seen a hot spot on dirt? 
Maybe. But I'm wondering why closer oh, they get to maybe, it. Maybe, dude, dude, dude. Come on, man. Have you ever seen what? a hot spot on dirt? I've ever seen a hot spot on dirt. Yep. I never really tried that. Okay, I so have, I never then about why it. were you worrying about something that you yourself are just throwing out? Yeah, I'm just wondering. It's just a question. But okay, so when they got closer to the moon, why did the lumens then get brighter and brighter and brighter? They say it's like one lumen or something like that, right? So why wouldn't it be like a million it should lumens? Have been brighter than the sun, according to inverse square law. Incorrect. Incorrect. It should have been. How do you real be brighter than the sun when the sun reflects off of it with an albedo, as rocket science point up, of zero point one two? That sucker should have been real bright. Can you zero use like regular words, please, Master Joe? What's that? Can you use regular words for us? Oh, no, no, these are called. Okay. Oh, you mean little words? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm using yes, scientific please. words. Help me out. The moon reflects twelve percent of the light that it's put on it. Has any flat earther actually done something similar with grass? No, of course not. On a bright sunny day, you can, it's really, it's, the grass would be, you know, really, really bright green. And then the closer you get to it, the closer you get to it, it's less bright. Now, are you, you are, are you claiming that, that, that is not the sun? Hold on, is the flat earthers claim that the sun is not illuminating the moon? Is it yeah, that the moon is a light? Is that the claim that the moon is its own light? Well, I don't know, man. I mean, a Serenelia eclipse is pretty. Uh, oh, stop it. That, that only happens under the very specific very circumstances. That only happens under the very specific circumstances that would be this, that that would be predicted by the by the uh, heliocentric model, right? Which is that the sun would have to be opposite of the moon 180 degrees, and both would have to be very low on the horizon. And that's yeah. exactly, and it would have to be a full moon. Those yeah. are the only times that you can you have a Serenelian eclipse, and that's Hold exactly. On. And it casts a shadow on the top of the moon. Non, dude, the that's a non sequitur uh, bringing up the eclipse. We're talking about the moon being self illuminated. Does the uh, eclipse work on the flat Earth, by the way? What, what do we know? Hold on, one thing at a time. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. It's a good question, though. Oh. So, no, what, see, what actually is um, your answer to the moon's illumination status? Oh me, yeah, I have no claims, but I don't know if either self-illuminated or the sun or something else. See, this, I don't goes, know. this goes back to something that Jake was talking to you, or, or it was either Jake or Stone was talking about earlier. There is no actual investigation. There is no curiosity on your side. It's just a, it's just a series of tactics meant to deny what, what they're no, in front of. Cause, cause what is I'm this? Testing. We don't know. What is that? We don't know. What is this? Uh -huh. We don't know. Are you looking? Right. Are you checking? Or do you have anything that you're doing for it? Fuck no, you don't. Right. So, because I'm testing the Earth, not the sky. The Earth is in question, You're not, not the sky the right either. now. You're looking okay, for so let, let's check, 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 the, check, check this out. Would you agree that closer to something would appear differently than further away? Yeah, but I can also tell you okay. that if I put, Thank you. I can tell you that if I put, if I put you in a room that has a uh -huh. square base for the floor, can you tell me what shape the room is without looking at anything else? They're the shape, not necessarily. Exactly. There's nothing wrong with looking into three-dimensional space in order to determine the shape right. of what you're on. But can you it's use the? Very, it's actually very helpful. Can you use the ceiling to tell you what the shape of the floor is? Of course. Really? What yeah. if it's a cone-shaped ceiling? Yeah, it doesn't matter. You can you can use a reference point. Drop. Uh, you could use a reference point on the ceiling. I digress. Uh, that was good. You should not you say anything. I digress. What well, the, it, it, actually, what the hell is a cone shaped point, ceiling, by the way? It yeah, is it is fair. It is fair because is there not a difference between the earth and the sky? Is, is the there cone not, a dome? Is yeah, there I mean, not understand. is there not a difference between the earth and the sky? Are they two separate planes? Well separate planes. They are. Right. They are, right? I think they are related, no. though, because they exist so in the, the Earth, same universe. the Earth is in a plane, and the sky Does is in a plane? Does the sky not touch okay. the Earth? I mean, what the hell are you, you talking about? When you're plane? walking above the Earth, are you not in the sky? You know what I'm talking about. That's how no, they I meet don't know what you're talking horizon. about. What do you mean by no, plane? That's... How do they meet at the horizon? The sky and the Earth. 
How do they meet? meet? Sky and Earth. You're saying the sky doesn't touch anywhere on 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 the Earth. Is this are they what you're saying? are they actually touching each other? The sky like touches the, the Earth all over the place. What do you think you're doing right now? The sky touches the Earth. Doesn't yes, it? the sky comes George, to the they Earth don't get all it. over they the place. They don't get what you're saying. They do not when, get it. Oh no, when, we get when it. did the but... sky touch the Earth? All over, straight down. You're looking straight how? up. You see sky. What do you mean the how? Sky. It's good sky. How do you mean? Well, you're breathing the sky. Say, what, what, I guess the better question is, what does Merle mean by sky? Yeah, what do you mean by sky? Is that blue stuff where all the clouds are? Well, that yeah, that, that's okay. what we live in. We live. You walk outside, you're in the sky. No, it's all alone is in the hemisphere. I think that's what, what he's getting. The black stuff that has all the stars. Are we living in how that? Do you know, how, do you know, how do you know? How do you know the sky is underneath the earth as well? How far up is the sky, Merlin? It's a fair question. Start? Sky starts you know at, at ground level. You want to hear uh, some? Want to hear something amazing though? In my backyard, so you know, my own over own a lake. And, and I'm I'm looking at the clouds. So two two rational, top clouds, two flat bottoms, rational. right? And they're spaced out. And I'm looking over the lake. I got a 500 kilometer view over a flat, freshwater lake. And I can yeah. see the flat bottoms of these clouds the whole way until it gets to the horizon. When it gets to the horizon and it spaces out, all of a okay. sudden I can't see. I'm already 40 feet above the water level. I can't see the bottom of the clouds, but I can see the puffy tops. No matter what I do okay. with a naked eye or a telescope, well, no matter what. Let me just ask you directly. Let me just ask you directly. You yeah. could answer my question, Mill. I will forget what he's just said. You know, I, I mean, he started talking after I asked my I know. question. I know. So, no. how far off the ground does the sky start, Mill? What are you talking about? The Carmen line or above that? Well, what how you... far off the ground does the sky start? About twenty-four miles. I'm not saying space. I'm saying the sky. I don't really know what you're asking me, to be honest. Where's the sky start? Hmm. Is the sky the it's earth was my question. Per he's asking Where a gradient. The sky a gradient. Oh. Listen. Bro, you're just the gradient starts at ground level too, by the way. No, but that's no, 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 no. There you go. No, 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 no. I've got another question for you guys. Merle, I think the question that for, was asked of you Do you guys was have a question? Ask the geniuses, Merle, to define what sky means. Well, no. Yeah, well, no, 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 no. That's that's you ask sky means, Montreal. Listen, listen, listen that's there's that's a deeper sky, question. Montreal. that I haven't spoken for nearly an hour now. I just want to ask oh, one so question. Well. Oh, you did. You asked, that. does the sky really I, I just want to ask one earth, question. And I asked you to define One question, guys. Don't get scared. It's all right. It's just one question. It's just one question. So the question is, do you all know 100% for a fact the well, Earth is even in space? For a fact. Do you all I know 100% for, for a fact fact the Earth is yeah, even in space? Yes, 100%. Yes, Merle, go on. No, you don't. Yes, we do. You've never no, even been to don't. space, man. Come on. You've never even been there, dude. <laughs> oh, you have to be there, huh? You ever been to Australia? How do you know Australia exists? Uh, you're you comparing been to somewhere your that... Basement. Listen, quiet. You've never been 25 miles away from your home, so be quiet. How do you right. know everything quiet. is 25 Listen, miles away from your home Why are you exists? guys... You're talking about something that's unearthed that millions of people can go to to verify. Oh, but oh, thousands of people, hundreds of people have been to space. On Earth. On hundreds Earth. of people have been to space. Yeah. No, that would be make more sense if you're talking about like the ocean or something. You should have used hundreds, that argument. Hundreds of That'd be have better. Been to space. That'd be a better argument. The ocean or something. Hundreds oh, no. of people have been Try to space. better. Just, Try better. Pay people on. in space right now as we speak. Don Gio. Try better. That's pay. Perfect, that's a perfect no, right. segue. Does the ocean have a bottom? Off I don't flat. know, man. I've never been there. The Parts <laughs> of it that do. You've never been twenty five miles away from your house. How do you know anything outside of Detroit exists? Oh, I don't know, paid. Exactly. Thank you. You're an idiot. Does the ocean have a bottom? The observation is the sky's above. You don't know if it's underneath the earth as well. Above what? The earth. Exactly. So Everything's the sky, above. The sky is just above the earth, like a millimeter above the earth. Everything's above. The stars, the sun, the moon, the clouds. So when I asked earth. you how high is the sky, you could have answered me. Well, it's separate from the Earth, Riz. That's all I'm saying. Well, if you it's want to be real, Earth. if you want to be real straightforward, the you know the sun 
neither sets on neither model. It doesn't touch the earth. It doesn't touch the earth. It's so... Is that what you think? Setting, setting doesn't mean that it comes down and touches the fucking earth, does it? I said being straightforward, man. Calm Touch down. Calm so, down, so man, guy. So you do have a model, right? In you Earth. know what I'm talking about, man. Come on now. Well, you, you, no, uh, you said it. You said uh, on either model. So you do have a model. Or and either you systems. Model. There you go. Is that better? Either systems. Does you, that make you, said, either, you said, you said, Riz, you said, Riz, I wasn't trying to avoid finish. your question. Can I I no. Uh, no, Riz asked me a question. Riz, yeah, I wasn't sure. trying to avoid your question. So but, how high is the sky? I don't even know. You okay. just said it what was do you know? the earth. I don't know. Typical flat earth answer. I don't know. Listen, how, how, listen, how, to how me. How listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You've asked me the question. I know my bank account. I know my fucking pin number. I know my mobile phone number. Oh, I know how to rumble you fuckwits. So no, shut no, the fuck up. Mo, no, no, you're making no, a bunch of positive no. claims. I need, I'm going to need some substantiation that you know your <laughs> bank account and pin number. You have to provide it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, provide me your bank and account. Don't give me a number that's CGI, dude. Do not give me a number that's CGI. Because <laughs> that makes saying, it... What does, it, what does that Riz... mean when you say don't give me a number that's CGI? Yeah, because he might change it. You know, it might not appear to what it really Riz is. Rizzler knows it's my own thinking. It's my own thoughts. It's not quantum erasure. So no Can you at least give me that, Rizzler? No, no, I can't, Mel, because what you do say is repeated. You, no, you do no one. That's you my original exactly thought, mate. That's my before. original thought. And for no, you not to give me that me. hurts me. We don't know how high the sky is. It's It's beyond our grasp. No, Literally. we do know how high the sky is, actually. Thank no, you. we don't. Yes, we do. How do they we predict don't... the weather if they don't know that? It really, it's not related. Well, can they use Irrelevant. YouTube planes? They can tell you YouTube, how high the clouds are and YouTube planes. What about YouTube planes? Could they do it? <laughs> they do how about satellites in space, huh? Yeah, they photography do... from satellites like MORI. <laughs> Come on, man. They use weather balloons for that mess. No, no, sorry. They're not high enough. How weather do you know? can only go. Well, They're about the size they... of a football stadium. How do you know? How high can a balloon go? You know how big a fight? You know how big a football how stadium? High can how high can they... Filling the balloon is my question. Probably a uh, hundred thousand feet, feet or more, dude. Exactly. How do they fill the balloon? Keep it up there. You didn't get a whole hemisphere of a of the Earth from a hundred uh, kilometers. Or they just send them up back to back to back to back, dude. Uh huh. Uh huh. The, sure. Then well, where are they? And why can't we see them? The little you white dots at night? These... You don't see no. those little white dots? No, no, no. You can't Actually, triangulate that and, and confirm that it's the altitude of a balloon. But, uh... No, sir, this is your claim. Back it up. Those right. are balloons in the sky. Triangulate huh. them and confirm at the altitude. I, I can do it with satellites. Okay. Can yeah. you do that with they your so-called the balloons? Hang on. With the Hang space on. Station. Hang on. Let me... Let me... Confirm the altitude. Can we just high, say that the, the stars are balloons? The stars are balloons? <laughs> So heard, like, he's saying the satellite. Oh, satellite. satellite. We're talking about satellites. Satellite. <laughs> a little white. Hang on. Uh, Riz, it's 6,000 miles. Is there a YouTube video coming? I, I feel that there's a YouTube video coming. Riz, they, they reckon it's 6,000 miles, 10,000 kilometers above the ground. That's the height of the sky. Where did you get that number from? Google. Oh, it must be true. Well, first, define what do you mean by sky? The blue stuff above us? Yeah, the atmosphere. Blue stuff? Yeah, that's, atmosphere. Actually, stuff, that's actually stuff that's blue, the sky. Atmosphere. It looks blue. Looks the blue. atmosphere is blue. Right, right. So, have you ever seen uh, images from a high altitude balloon? There's yeah. no blue stuff above them. Yeah, it's like black stuff above them. Hey, 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 what do they do with the Boeing E3 Century? The Boeing E3 Century. Oh, that's the one. Oh, you mean so the, uh, the radar? Read the whole definition the radar guy. on the Google the radar plane. AWACS, as people normally call it. Okay. It doesn't. Oh, it that. doesn't. It doesn't help you in any way trying to, you know. 
you know all, what? All you need, Come on, bro, spit it out. All you need to do is going back to what I even asked to begin with. No, How I'm do you know the Earth's in space? Oh, yeah, I just want to ask a question. What, hey, hey, uh, hey, Pay, do you know anything Again. about NASA's, uh, NASA's uh, SWAT team? Again, so it's me NASA's mega gatekeepers. <laughs> in the That's a secret. You can't talk, can talk about that. Going on here tonight. Interesting. Hey, you just uh, answered your own, up, your own question. The sky are the blue, is the blue stuff. Above the blue stuff, there is black stuff we call space. So where's the Earth? Under the blue star, right? The blue how star. How do you know it's underneath? How do you know it's underneath the Earth? The Earth's in a semicircular orbit. Well, from the from a high altitude stuff. balloon, you see blue stuff above. Yeah, above the a, Earth. A, how do you black know stuff above. Earth? Black stuff above. Blue underneath. stuff below and under it. Earth. Are, are, are you the, are you too stupid to imagine a uh, a sphere? The fact that there'd be air all the way around the sphere is that your problem? No, I'm saying, how do you know the Earth is in space? Wow. I still oh, no. let me let me smoke about it and think about it. Mm -hmm. You might need to. What do you think is in Merle if it's not? We've sent satellites in space, we've sent missions to the moon and other planets. Yeah, above, not below. Uh, wait, uh, what's the difference between above and below? Tell me. <laughs> wait, 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 hang on. So your so your definition of the universe is basically half of a sphere that's that's the, your entire universe nothing else exists below it no no i've got i got off the globe and my thinking changed oh no merlin can you answer yeah the i bet your thinking question? changed hold up merlin can you answer the former question what's the difference between above and below are you talking about the globe or a plane i'm just just answer the question however you feel is best it depends what you're asking me so if, if you're on i a ask globe, you what's the difference between above and below if you're on a globe, there's a definite answer. If you're on a plane, there's a definite answer. So be more. So answer uh, however you it. feel best. You, you're not giving me clarity. You said that you, you asked us if there was air below, and now you define define below. Below is underneath you. Above is above you. you wow, that's. A... That that's a yeah, that's succinct really answer. answer. You know, dog food is dog food. Water is water. Thank you. Um, could, you get, you? could you be a little more... Pretty sure it's water. Above and below. What do you mean? Is it too simple? He likes to play stupid games. It, is, it like, games. It, is it like... Um, is complicated the only language you nerds understand? No, no. The, the problem is that you don't understand that the air is always above you when you're standing on the surface of the Earth. I don't understand. It wraps I'm around on... the sphere. Do, do you realize I'm on Earth too? No. What's that? Your problem, your problem is do you, you can't do you define realize down I'm on and Earth up. Too? You can't define Yeah, well, you're, but your mind down. is somewhere else. Yeah, you, do, do you... you're on my Earth. I what is it. Earth too? Where is Earth 2, this magical <laughs> realm that you live in? That was a TV show. Yeah, it was. was it uh, living inside the, do uh, this, the biodome or something like that, wasn't it? I only watched one episode. I wasn't into it. Yeah, okay. Can I go to Hall, yeah? Where is Earth 2, Marlon? All the space stuff is just above you. So all you have... How do you know that? And when you come back to Earth, how do you know that sky goes all the way around and the Earth's floating because in the Because people have serpent and serpent navigated the globe. Oh, it's so the abundantly system. documented too, isn't it? Just so Where? abundant. Where? <laughs> Wait. We have pictures of it, Merlin. How how you like simple? Here we have pictures so, of it. I want simple yeah. stuff. What about uh, eight miles deep into the Earth's crust? How do you guys uh, know what? What about eight minutes high? What about eight minutes straight up without cutting off the camera? Well, right. Tell me, you didn't hear it from SE the the eight or Demok the eight miles deep. They have zero definitive evidence that would satisfy anyone with a skeptic bone in their body. No, we have right, plenty of evidence only hey, for idiots who hey, don't understand it. Quiet. You pay hey, come on man. Stop being a beta. 
Yeah. Look who's talking, Jeez, Mr. Gamma. Right. Being a I understand your are shit. You're and it's are like, you really sensitive here? Anybody don't know like, what a Delta don't, is? Don't, don't, don't pretend for that shit. To change. You really kept it real, man. This hey, is what not if... for this is not abundant enough to satisfy a skeptic. This couldn't satisfy the president of the United States. Let's keep it real. Well, we have too many dogs in, in the voice chat, so Adamantium, get the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's twenty twenty one and we don't have a single video of the horizon turning into the globe, the dude, full globe. No, dude, it's twenty twenty one. can't get that far, huh? It's unprovable, Wait, percentage. right? Fucking percentage. argument from ignorance. Nothing Percentage, What's nothing up? would prove it to you. You could, no, we dude. could have that proof, and you would move the goalposts again. No, you sure. do. When we come to so testing the curve, no, it's twenty twenty one. You, it's twenty twenty one, and you guys don't have no proof of this core, the center core. Where's that at? I'm not talk, we're not talking about the center core right now. We're talking about the atmosphere. Why not? Here, let me let me use because Merlin's explanation. One thing at a time, Don. We can talk about that later. Hey, you're, you're, you're handing me my ass on the atmosphere, so let's talk about the interior of the Earth. <laughs> no, I don't, yeah, bro, you guys claim there's a molten iron core. What technology right. do you have to find that out? So we, we, you're, we, you're handing our ass to us on the atmosphere, so let's change to a different subject. That we know no. nothing. We're trying to have mercy you guys won't even answer with we know, that we, we, got our, we got our ass handed to us about the atmosphere. So let's Yeah, we're being gears. merciful. We're switching gears. So you no, guys no, no. You got, your, you got your ass handed to you yeah, about no, the man. atmosphere. On, so now you're suddenly going to start well, talking about... Yeah. It's okay, but it's kind of, you know, in the same field. It's in the same field. No, okay, so we're going to say... Yeah, it's all in the same field. You get up to negative 10, and then you guess it's negative 17. We've talked about your guessing and your pressure up there. We've done it. Look at Don Bandwagon. He's awesome. <laughs> oh, I'm He's a skeptic, talk, unlike talk you. Xanax numbers is bandwagoning? Yeah. You're just a bunch Woo! of space. I'm giving you Xanax. <laughs> it's fucking space. Chuck, nerds, it, chuck, it, chuck it, We chuck. landed on Mars, man. Do you want a cup of tea? Welcome to space. I'm saying, what? what the atmosphere goes past the moon, right? Yeah. Depends how you define the atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Very, very but you're sparse. Guessing it's negative seventeen. You can't. Right, you can't man. It's show crazy, it. dude. A very, no. very sparse atmosphere out to the moon. I... Right. They but pay. how would you know, though? Right. Because they measure the measurements. You complete moron. How do you but know? The only reason you know that is because NASA told you. I've heard concessions in here that this that technology is only sensitive enough to go to like negative ten tor. That all this negative seventeen they're guessing. From how stuff moves, they're just guessing. Right, Don. Right. No statements were made that the, that the vacuum that could be created on Earth is of that of of that quantity. Wow. Not the sensor, you dipshit. That's what I said. Well, look. Yo, if, right he, lock, if the right? heliocentric model here. was a cam girl, you guys would be her only fans. Yeah, and as <laughs> and as we speak right now, the ISS is dodging a bunch of space debris. What fifteen, what tons of space debris? 15,000. How, how many yeah, hours? They're not they all sitting in the path of the ISS, by the no, way. No, this is the okay. this is part they, 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 they can't. They think that all 15,000 tons per year is aimed directly at the ISS. Oh, they died. And that's like a chum, 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 chum. They're moving. They also side by think side. no one ever thought of this question before they launched the satellite. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing how they put shielding around it just in case that You know happens. how little 15 tons is? Yeah, no, they have no idea. Yeah, yeah but, but you know how they go 16. 16 times around the earth in one day, right? You know how big that is? Uh, 16. That's a lower thor. That's extremely that's a lower thor. That's pretty fast. 16 times in one day. Wow. Dang, they got a lot of yeah. stuff they got to dodge, man. I mean, Incorrect. it's only 90 minutes. Set up a camera and show. Why does it have to be one photo every second time a stitch to get? Why, why don't we just done. see? It's ISS been done. The ISS has why don't we see that shows it? that. Why did it cut off every 40 minutes? Why don't we have a live stream from the ISS? Somebody tell me that. We do, actually. We do, don't we? No, we don't. We do, don't we? And that's exactly what I'm talking about. Why is it so <laughs> shitty? Yeah, we don't see oh, no rocks, it's no space debris. Right? We don't see We, we need to have 4G no, and bandwidth. Okay, hold on. So, Bullshitting. Honest question for the Globers. Yeah. Here's an honest question. When do you guys think we'll have a, like, a credible video of the horizon turning into the full globe? Percent shut up. Why don't these guys want it? Percent. No, 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 let me answer the question. That. Let me answer the question. Please do. Did they? Did they? You can. You find a way to see from one spot a whole ball 
from both from all sides. Like, shut the, what an idiot! No, that's not what I'm saying. Hell, no, you want to no, no, when, when you get there, the question, the question is, when do you think we'll have the technology to send like a satellite out far enough and have the video where we see the horizon turn into the full globe, the full like How the circle? It's not going to happen. It's not Only had a video of the full globe or a picture. It's not going to happen. Globe. That'd be crazy. We so want it uncut from the ground. Why, why, why you, you can't you show it? Happen? You know what happened? There would be a glitch or something. All you guys would say, oh, look, when it's are, a glitch. It's CGI. When are so we going to see the full globe from high altitude? What year do you think we'll have that ability to show the Why don't you? Nobody needs to satisfy your stupid curiosity. There's no reason to do this. Why do you get the It's a speculative question. Give your best guess. I have no, no idea. They'd probably do it today if they wanted Nonsense. to. But you would... The problem is there'd be a glitch or something. All you guys would say, look, look, a glitch. CGI. They're not going to do it. Oh, my God. Someone know, was, was to a, couple days ago, a couple days ago, percentage in these people were saying, how come we don't have a landing to picture the landing on Mars? So they released some landing, the pictures of landing on Mars. And was going, oh, no, they look, didn't. there's a glitch. What yes, the they did. What are you didn't? talking about? Don't lie about yes, me, they man. did. I didn't did speak not. about any landing Mars did shit. Too, so man. Keep my name out your mouth. You're not talking facts. They released pictures of the landing on Mars, and everyone's complaining it's a glitch at like an hour and 49 minutes. <laughs> so you it. started by yeah, saying I've you want a video of the landing on Mars, page. and then I'm you the said we have it, it and now you said we have pictures. No, it's a video. Yeah, I pointed it out. It's it literally is one hour forty nine minutes. Yeah, one hour forty nine minutes. The old thirty nine seconds. Here sees a glitch. Oh, and says, oh, this yeah. obviously proves that oh, it's CGI. Yeah, look, I'll post it. You talk about glitch, the one where it's looking up the whole fucking um, time. No, this one where it's looking oh, down. Oh my hang god! god. Uh, Why I'll don't we have one looking sideways? Screenshot before. Screenshot yeah, before the glitch and then after the glitch. But when when the glance, it looks sideways, right? First Why isn't first... it looking sideways during the descent? Oh, now, now you want oh, sideways. Why isn't it no, are you sideways, you fucking, sideways, you fucking numpty? He, he said horizon when he opened what, it up. What, you you want the, horizons, the, 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 man. Horizon. First you said there's no oh, video oh, of a landing pointing down. Now it's provided, and now you want one sideways. Why did someone Facebook live up to space? Wow, this is just... So we want... No, I guess what Percentage wants is he wants a camera looking at the horizon, and the, for the entire launch to have it turn into the globe, right? I guess so. Do you do, does percent know how far out a rocket would have to go, go to to have no, that happen? He doesn't understand that. Actually. Do you understand what you're asking for percent? You know he doesn't. Wait, wait, wait. Mister, Mister, I question. have two STEM you degrees. Do you hilarious. understand hilarious. what you're asking for? I try to explain it. That's definitely splicing. I, he, I do. He definitely that himself and muted himself. Rocket. When y'all when y'all Glover start squawking yeah. like that, it's so obvious y'all's cog is coming out. It's yeah, so obvious. It's crazy. What's that? No, no, you got you, you guys continuously move the goalposts on shit. Hey, so, can, hey, can you tell you me why they're here from the beginning? You, you don't know what the goal is from the beginning, and as it starts unraveling, you start realizing, oh shit, yeah, that. No, we are missing this archive through. Oh shit! <laughs> you keep Gold moving the goalposts. Always been flat, and it still is. Yeah. Hey, pay NASA shield. Tell me why there uh, appears to be splicing at thirty-nine seconds. Yeah, wow. and tell me. I don't know. Why you want to look Maybe at the a glitch or something? Who knows? I'm sure. I know. Glitch? That's the whole frame. I, I, bro. I'm sure what happened there, man, is, is you caught them on the CGI splice, man. Yeah. I am sure that any moron can what? take any video on the internet and say there is splicing. It's all fake. Watch it. Over and over. Oh, so and defensive. You don't so want to even address his. Oh, and God. especially no, if the moron has idiot. an agenda to pretend like you know something about the video. I know something about video editing. Yeah, that's, that's you guys. That or do you pretend you to do that? Come on, which one is it? It's you guys. How many rockets have you fucking launched? That girl we is need you guys. you guys to tell us it's based on trust. Admit it. How many rockets have you seen go straight up and dock on the ISS without no cuts? No Would editing. Like it's in 4K too or 8K? No oh cut, no, no, that's not going to be proof enough. How about 16? No rocket no goes straight up to the ISS. I just need eight minutes. Just give me eight minutes on top. Would you, would you have like a timeline time time for the launch? From... In eight minutes, you won't be high enough to satisfy what what percentage wants. We have a time lapse of a launch from space, watching it come up through the atmosphere. Oh my space. goodness, dude! What? Uh, <laughs> from what? That's a cool camera. one. Those are cool ones, but they're not eight minutes. <laughs> That's like a two-minute video. It's a space camera, right? Yes, sir. 
Do you think PlayStation <laughs> 5 is, might is have anybody, better Hold on, though. Is anybody disputing yeah, what you're yeah. saying? Radius of Earth before you can even get the space. So where is it? Um, You can do the Radius <laughs> of Earth with the uh, Eratosthenes experiment. Do it on March 20th. Go ahead and do it for me. Eratosthenes. No, I'm going to do it for you. You do it yourself. This is. I thought this was I a do-your-own-research thing. The sun's rays are not parallel, so it's. it's um, yes, flat. they are. Thank you. Um, no, it's because do your hey, own research no, by watching no, videos no. of Nathan Oakley on no, YouTube. Do your own research. You're not doing that. You're not doing that. Well. If you do, if you do three research, sticks on the same no. longitude line, there's no way the sun okay, can be. Okay, so 100 miles will be good, right? With the three sticks, right? 100 miles. Hang on, hang on. Hang 100 on. miles a piece? Yeah. Three, yes, that'd be okay. Cool. So if I'm standing at one stick and I have a partner standing at the other, he's a 45 degree angle from me, right? Close, close, let's say 45, maybe a little 45 more. Degrees? Okay. A little more. So wouldn't, there, wouldn't, I wouldn't, wouldn't I be seeing through a denser layer as he would? So refraction of light. Oh, refraction, huh? Here we go. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You said the magic word. You said the magic word. Refraction, man. Calm down. So wouldn't the sun appear to be here to me, but it's here to him? Or here to him? Solar noon, man. Almost no refraction coming from solar noon. So if I'm so looking at it, it's 30 arc minutes an big. Hey, the sun is 30 arc minutes big. You're not refracting that much looking straight up. You get above like 15 degrees above the horizon. Refraction is almost yes. negligible. Okay. Somebody get a muscle for shields. I get that, dude. I'm looking at it straight up. He's looking at it in the angle to his perspective. Right. Or my perspective. So for that far away, he's looking. Someone's looking at it in an angle and looking through more of a denser atmosphere. So how are we going to be able to pinpoint the light if it's refracting? But it, mm. it looks like it's here, but it could be there for him like a rainbow. Is. You say? It's like a rainbow. You say 100 miles apart. Yeah. About 100 miles, miles apart. apart. Maybe more. Maybe more would probably yeah, be a lot better. Yeah. But, like, yeah. like one and a half degree difference in your angle. That's all. One and a half degree. Oh, who's, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Can you prove that with a rainbow? Can you prove that with a rainbow? <laughs> I prove it with a rainbow. Yes. Have you, you ever seen a rainbow from a hundred miles away? No, I don't. Can you prove it? Can you prove it with a rainbow? I don't know what you're talking about. Talking about two sticks a hundred miles apart. Yeah, but can you pinpoint That's, the rainbow? One yeah, degree see, is sixty-nine uh, miles. You that's know that, right? Question. Yeah. That's but why I don't, I don't understand know. the question. What the hell is the question? The sun, if you can't, can how would I prove that with a rainbow? rainbow? What the hell? I want to see a blowbird can point the rainbow. I'm telling you what the I'm telling you what the difference in angle would be to the okay. sun if you've got two observers a hundred miles apart. That's right. what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, but like, uh, there's going to be some kind of refract. I'm going to see the sun different than he does. I okay. honestly believe that you're going to see any difference in refraction in one and a half degrees over a hundred miles. You really think that? I'd like to see a blowbird pinpoint the rainbow though. <laughs> fucking rainbow looking at the fucking sun I don't see rainbows around the sun what I'm looking at a you shadow did, you never seen a sun daughter before can you, can you pinpoint I'm, I'm the sun daughter looking, I'm, looking, I'm looking at a shadow from a fucking stick do you understand can what you the proper sun? Sun? do you understand what the local sun do the same thing they'll do the same thing I don't know what sun dogs, dogs are. Do you think so? Sun, so do sun point dogs point. cast? Can you pinpoint shadows? the sun dogs? When you see sun, uh, let me ask you a question. You tell me something. When you see sun dogs, can you see three shadows from, say, a telephone pole? That's not the question. Can you pinpoint it? Direct nowhere. Oh, yeah, direct where I'm from. You guys didn't answer my question. What are you talking? Are you going to give me a question with another question? A question? Where do the sun dogs come from? From the question. sun. Where the hell do you think they come from? So they're just an aura around the sun. <laughs> Is float out there in space. I think that's real. Uh, you, you really think those are light sources? I'm saying you see sun dogs, one on either side of the damn sun. Do you see three shadows as a result of those three light sources? It depends. There's sometimes where I see sun dogs refracting. Have you ever seen three light? Have you ever seen the sun cast three different shadows? That's three different. That's I'm mean, that's not what I'm talking about. You still haven't have answered my question. You ever seen a private company go past low Earth orbit? <laughs> um, I still want to know if somebody can pinpoint a rainbow. I'll wait on that one. What, what's what your you main talking? point with that, just for clarity, Gio, if you don't mind? Know exactly where it's at. Mm.
still don't get your point. How does that hey, change? Hey, One and a half hey, degree difference in in, in observation. Blue marble. What blue is marble. that? How does that change? That, One you? and a half degree. Blue marble. You wasn't expecting One and a half that. degrees. How does that change? One and a half degrees difference in observation angle for two observers 100 miles apart. How does it change that? But then that's begging it the question. How do you know, how do you know for hair. a fact? Just a, you're just throwing red the amount, hands at that's all you're doing. How do you, know, you know for a fact the amount of refraction that is around the sun? You know how much there's going to be? Like, you go up there and be like, hey, let me measure it with a ruler. <laughs> like, really? You weren't expecting the rainbow, was you, though? Did you expect if, if the sun, if the sun was directly above you, would you expect any refraction? Yeah, you're looking through a denser atmosphere what? layer. Why not? It, it, it's same thing with uh, water. A certain amount of water, <laughs> yeah. you get some type of refraction. You, you don't think a dense really think layers it, of atmosphere you, gradients. You're going to be looking through light. It doesn't travel the greatest through layers of atmosphere. I mean, it does, but really you know, nice. not forever. Really above your head, you would expect to see refraction, oh God, dude. Really oh, think wow. that, huh? Oh man, it's pretty sad. Mm-hmm. It's pretty sad. You can't pinpoint a rainbow. Right. Right. Rainbows refra- have nothing refract. to do with this issue. Uh, if you it's say so. absolutely nothing, it's just a red herring. You have to look away from the sun to see a rainbow. He's giving bullshit questions, and I'm giving bullshit answers to him. That's just telling you you can't pinpoint a light source. No, you you're even just throwing out red herrings, Don. That's no, all you're you doing. You're just throwing a light source. All right. On it. Yeah. Okay. Cool story. Is that all you got? Cool story. You guys have worn that one out. You gotta uh, gotta think of another line. Was, you know, always a good idea for flat earthers where they're in a the corner to quote Oakley or some shit. Come on, okay. think. Can, can I ask you, Blue, straight up, um, do, do, you, do you actually think we have the technology and the capability to get from here to Mars? Absolutely. We've already yeah. got there, dude. What the fuck are you talking about? You, yeah, heck, no, we got a horrible just, service just ask, here. I was just asking, Blue, you actually, really, just, you, just for his own. For the, for the amount of times that people actually, say we just no. quote Nathan or QE or anybody else, Nathan and, or QE, all you're like, doing uh, is... All you're doing is quoting NASA and government officials. <laughs> right? I don't understand. What's the difference? Unlike Oakley or QE, these are credible sources. Yeah, Oakley paid. Just not paid. Not paid. Where did it come from? Is a credible source? Paid. What That's building a, did it come the from? The government has credibility in your eyes. How many lies need to be told to you before you distrust liars? Nobody no, has lied to me. And the content Other than you flat earthers, where the lies come from. You, Yo, you can't tell when someone's NASA. lying to you. You you buy the lying the lie hook line and sink. Really, percent you can tell. Yeah, percent, yeah. You every time you open your mouth, you're full of shit. Percentage be dropping. He went, hey, he went to Daily Boom and handled like four or five globers by himself. Come on, don't even play. Percent is a hey. lying piece of shit. Oh, um, no, no. He has a logical mindset. Two dude, no. degrees, a uh, medical no. school dropout, ex sniper. I never once, I never lying once piece claimed of the two have, second and third a, thing you said. I have a question. Yes, you have. If you I have know, a couple amount, he's going to mute and record it you, again. I, you liar. Have, Substantiate your I, positive claim, you liar. No, straight up I'm liar. I'm putting it out there. You want to defend yourself by, by stating otherwise or proving otherwise? Go ahead. You're a liar. But people here have heard you say so that. Liar. And, I'm, and, I, and I, I stand by the first that. One. That was the only accurate claim. Aw, did I hurt your feelings? You did. You're a liar, man. It's cool. You're trying to make it about me. It's not about me. It's about the fact that you guys are indoctrinated and you can't tell the truth from the fiction, Ooh. okay? You have no empiric yeah. evidence for the, the heliocentric model. Except you cunts don't even have anything. Sorry. Literally. We have, tons of we have no model. We, we don't know how the sun works. We you don't know, that 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 works. Work. We don't know yeah, anything. We can't know evidence? anything, but you are indoctrinated, yeah. guys. Oh, indoctrinated, guys. You used to think the sun was 3 million miles away, then 24 million miles away. You guys keep that's just called, getting the math wrong. That's called getting better getting things wrong. There's no science there, bro. That is the stupidest argument ever. What? Come on, man. It's called science getting question. better. I have a question. It's getting better. So, so if it gets better, do you think the sun will be 100 million question. miles away? No, I think right the on? sun will stick pretty close to 93 million miles away. <laughs> I do have a question concerning lying. When someone is telling you 10 different things, and you know that he's lying in, in nine of these, 
Does it mean does that mean that he's also lying on item number ten? It's a it's a earth it's, it's an earth situation. Like when when you guys realize that there's a potential that you have been lied to, I'll, I'll forgive you. Like I think we I all need realize to work together. You know? yourself. I, 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 pers I, I personally, I, I personally can anyone think, else can anyone I, I don't else speak answer that often in here, so I'd appreciate just saying a few but words. Like I I, 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 I think if we work together, we'll we'll get through this fine. You did not answer the question. My question was well, different. Well, well, me, me on the other hand, I would not, I would not have a time to have a play with work together. How the fuck does that work? Man. I know there's a bunch of I would think of the dishonesty of the normies that haven't been exposed to the argument, but not for these deceivers, the, the stalwart, obstinate, like, um, deceivers that are trying to mislead other people when they're yeah, they, 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 they've been exposed to the flat earthers who know this is round and still think the earth is flat. Yeah. Why are you back? What are you doing, man? What is up with you? No forgiveness for you, globs. <laughs> <laughs> What's your best proof for the flat earth? Hey, mate, hey, 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 pay. Percentage. What's your best proof for the flat earth? Hey, pay. Where, what building? The horizon is observably flat. Okay. The earth is uh, observably motionless. Oh, well, well, right. right. that's my evidence. Right. 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 It is easily evident. It's a truism, just like the water being wet and yeah. sky being blue and grass being green. Right. 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 I can show you that the horizon is. Ben. Hey, pay. What building did QE oh, get his uh, citation from? I have no idea. Why don't you ask QE? Where did here's he get a, his citation from? The, the, hazard, the horizon is supposed to look flat on a sphere this big. Yeah, well, that's another point they don't get. They have prove no sphere this big. Because it doesn't match your observations, so prove it. It does match your observations. Do, you the, uh, do the Arcosis experiment. Unfalsifiable, unprovable claims. You do guys the Arcosis experiment. Proof by assertion. You, you claim that they're true, even though you have no proof. Do Argue the Arcosis experiment. Just all of these. Blah, 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 no, your no, shit no, is filled. It's no, riddled no, with fallacies, man. Eratosthenes experiment. Do it yourself, percentage. You're tripping over your fallacies. You're falling over your fallacies. Percent won't do it. No, no. Percentage. Do the Arcosis experiment. You won't. Percent has never, ever, ever what you want. did Call anything presented evidence. You can't, have, you can't figure it out when there's two variables, two it's, unknown variables. No, there's right? only one variable, sorry. What's the what's the variable? You, you can't figure out when there's two variables? Sure what, multivariable calculus yeah, doesn't exist? he never took multivariable Not calculus. This. Yeah, it doesn't. <laughs> You, you all heard it here first. You, you heard it here, people. Off, the light, the light, light calculus does not exist. All the light that we have, it's it's divergent. It no, looks incorrect. divergent. It behaves oh, divergently. Incorrect. But you guys are trying to claim that it's parallel. Oh, incorrect. That's why merit. That's why magnifying oh, glasses work. Yeah, magnifying glasses converge this divergent light, bro. Uh, no, they take parallel light and convergent. If it divergent, no, it won't work. Prove it's parallel. Wow. Good luck. We'll prove it's divergent. Or, or as Good luck. Interesting. It's observably divergent. Incorrect. That's not incorrect. Mm -hmm. It is incorrect. You, look at yeah, crepuscular yeah. rays. Oh, divergent. crepuscular rays. That's look, look that is shadows. No, Hold up. That, without even the crepuscular that rays. That is crowds. perspective, look, by look the way. But you know, that the light is actually good. Sun dogs are always ones for perspective, but when something actually is in your own room right now, with your computer or your phone, wherever you are, you nerd. Put some, put some like books on the floor and look at the light hitting it, and you'll see the shadows being diverged, causing the the different shadows because it's that divergent Dude, sun light. Divergent. Sun dogs are divergent. So you think that all the lights in the world are divergent except for the sun? That's special pleading. You put a light ninety-three million miles away and tell me that the light rays diverge. They have to collimate the beam to make it. So put make put a light source ninety-three million miles yeah, away and tell me that it, it, it diverges. There is, there is evidence that it does not diverge, that it's parallel. And Eratosthenes. Yeah, I have a real quick question. No evidence that it's parallel. You're just, you're just right. quoting. You're just, it's the it's only just way it works. You cannot have a, glo a, a divergent so, light source and do the Eratosthenes measurement. Even I mean, lasers, which they call as a beam, make them as parallel as possible. Diverge. You fucking mouth. No. Real quick, before I have to go, I have to go. Sperm yourself and show me the results and show me the how. For, uh, it proves the earth is flat. If it proves the earth is flat, all the. Yeah, whoever's trying to get in, he said, real quick, go ahead, man. Hey, yeah. Well, there is evidence that, that the sun rays are parallel. And Eratosthenes knew about that. Come on, man. That dude didn't even know about refraction. Yes, he. 
No. You know that no. Moon no. is not a factor, you I complete moron. Shut the fuck up. It's irrelevant about this. Why are you going off to another topic? Because it, it, Why it, don't you ask her? Because he's losing at this topic, therefore he switches to you. another one. That's I typical. I, I'm flattered. Right? Hey, and okay, I will, I'm getting my ass handed to me in that one, so I think I'll switch to a different topic. I will yeah. post the link in the if we can't quote, will, uh, I did switch to a topic. Well, right? I will but put you're okay the link in the chat. Should we be quoting oh, Trump Trump next, Tyson? Should we just, are we able to parrot what government agencies tell us? Is that okay? At what point do we draw the line and who we can cannot parrot? Can I parrot Neil deGrasse Tyson? Apparently, Jim Panda thinks that that's not okay. So, how exactly are you guys okay with just parroting what you're told? We are not defying anything at all. We are accepting each other's evidence. You're no, no, we're not. No, do the Aristotelian experiment yourself. This is I've evidence. Done it and this I've done it myself. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, who's, who's that? If you look like sorry, that, if you have to, that was if you a percentage, have to verify it? everything no, that, on its own, blue, blue and if you have to reinvent the wheel over and over again, and everybody has to to do this experiment again and again, this would be poor. The, you know, the, the the strength of humans is that we can communicate and we can provide the the experimental details of what we did. That's why we advanced so quickly. Uh, why are you neglecting and and disregarding the strength of what we have? And and uh, just claim that, that it's a good thing that we over and over test each other. Are you so mistrustful and so this is so poor and pity? Well, sure, you guys' proof is imagination. So there you go. That's your Incorrect. evidence. Yeah, it's not. Except that You're it's not. Imagine. I can't. I should make a NASA t-shirt. You, you should give all your money back to the hey, Detroit hey, State. Hey, hey, would you buy my t-shirt if I make a t-shirt? Uh, uh, I'm uh, 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 a t-shirt just says I'm an idiot. Uh, 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 around. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll buy that one for you. It'll have NASA on it. it says, we imagine. Right, imagine right, right, right. No, how about, how about I'm a total and complete idiot. I should I'm give not. money back to the, my, the school district. No, how about we imagine. Imagine with us. No, That's no, a they cool don't imagine. I posted a link in the chat how Eratosthenes knew the sun rays are parallel. Holy no, moly. he assumed they were parallel because he couldn't pinpoint the sun. No, he, Incorrect. he, he observed. Oh he made he it. Did, it. Did, Greek guy was he smarter than you are. Something. He observed something. He did not assume it. He made an observation. How he, and that is how oh, he knew. The old Greek guy was so smart you can't even prove he exists. So what? He's 2,000 years old. Do the experiment yourself and then, to, then talk to me about it. You know they're not going. They're not going to. No, nobody. They of course not going to because it disproves their flat Earth religion, because and they know it. Do, which is why. It. Which is why whenever we come up with a proof of the globe Earth, they have to m immediately jump on it. More like flat Earth cult, to be honest. Flat Earth is not a religion. Yeah, exactly, Victor. How about that? How about how about wearing a T-shirt? Uh, see, the problem is that they won't go to the ice wall because a lot of these guys have never been more than twenty miles away from their mother's house. No, we can't go to the ice wall because there's a totalitarian regime. That's correct. You our can go to Antarctica anytime you want. You can go to Antarctica. You can you can buy once once COVID is over, you can buy a cruise ticket to Antarctica for about eight thousand dollars. And this whole post fucking tour is not. Visiting the ice wall. And, you want to go there? Really go there yourself. You can I actually really explore. explore. I don't want to interview for a job at the South Pole. Pressing my freedom of expression and my freedom freedom of learning. Your you don't yeah your freedom of learning. Why don't you apply for a job at the South Pole? You know you can do that, right? You know there are people there. Like I told you before, Flat Earthers is just a collective amount of trolls. Oh, that is actually a very true statement. I don't know about that, man. It's tough to uh, describe. It's tough to discern between a far left radical liberal and a glober. What's the difference? <laughs> there is none. They're the same thing, man. Dude, I'm telling you, bro. Yeah, because I mean, yeah, liberals are smart, and, no, and you guys are. And then and then I can, and then I I can say the same thing, right? I can make the same same compliments in return, right? You guys it's just make things up in your mind. You All right, guys. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave like, for a while. You guys can argue. Don't, don't run, getting... hey, Don't run. No, no, no. Chemo's telling no, Chemo's telling me that. Like, yeah, no, you got other guys here. Yo, back. yo, Shell, you only get paid if you stay. <laughs> oh, that's true. You know, I back. I earned my money for the day. <laughs> Go put your mask. Chemo's on. getting ready to silence me again because I can't. I can only take so much of stupid here. So, oh. yeah, he can only take so much with him when he leaves. I can only take so much stupid of your stupid Poe. 
Don't you. forgive, Paige. <laughs> that makes sense. Go and forgive, bud. I'm uh, telling you. Yeah, I'll forgive you for being stupid. I'm sorry. No, forgive right, your mom. be with you when you go. You gotta forgive your mom, dude. Like over identity. <laughs> oh. I'm I'm out too. I gotta eat. Peace, boys.